You've heard of horse soccer, well we decided to have a horse game of horse. Our first challenge was to blow up a balloon and pop it from the back of our horse without the horse moving a foot. They both did great, so no one earned a letter. Okay. okay. The next challenge was to blow up a balloon from the back of your horse and let it go. Now, the balloon not only moved, it made a noise. Oops, Dusty moved, he gets a letter. We then rode out about two miles to our usual riding area. There's a big open field with a lot of old construction material. We set up a course a big square and we timed it. This was our raced event. You raced one short leg, then down the long leg, came through the diagonal, turned and went the other direction all the way back around to the starting spot. The first one to cross the finish line wins. Someone is going to get a letter. Jesse crossed the finish line first, Dusty gets a letter. The next challenge was to mount from the offside. It's harder than it sounds. It's like throwing left-handed. Your horse has to stand perfectly still until you're completely on. I neglected to set Jesse up properly. She had to catch her balance as I was mounting. She moved a foot, Jesse gets a letter. For the next challenge, we took some of the old PVC that was laying around and we constructed an L alley. It's about three feet wide and 15 feet long on each side. The challenge was to back up, turn the corner, and continuing backing until we were all the way out of the L. This wasn't a speed course. You just had to negotiate the challenge without clipping one of the pipes. Dusty gets pretty close at the corner. Renee sets him back up and they continue on their way out. Both horses did good. We considered this a tie and we moved on to the next challenge. Dusty has an HO and Jesse has an H. The next challenge was a steering challenge. We set up a course where you had to weave back and forth between some pipes. And we had to do it all at a trot. So first we had to weave through those white, big white water pipes, and then through those two little red remnant pipes, we had to trot through the L, circle around the big white pipe, come back through the L, through the two little red pipes, serpentine between the big white pipes, and then finish in a designated area. This was not a timed event, you just had to Maintain your horse's gait at a trot. Both horses did very well. We called this a tie.
We wanted a little bit tougher backup, so we picked two white pipes that were pretty close together, and the job was to back your horse through that narrow opening. We thought Dusty had stopped to graze, but on replay, he just had an itch. We allowed him that. Both horses did good. Next, we set up two pipes and had a lope over. You had to lope over both pipes without touching them and maintain the gate at a lope. One of the toughest tests was our stopping test. We'd set up a line in the dirt. You had to lope up to that line, stop without going across the line. Video evidence clearly shows Dusty made the better stop. Next, we found an old palm frond by the side of the trail. We pulled that out. You had to side pass three steps to the right without touching the palm frond. Both horses did good. We called this a tie. Score remains tied. H-O to H-O. For the last test, I had gone to the 99 cent store and bought some party <coughs> poppers. They make a loud noise and a little streamer is emitted, popping them from the back of our horse. Both horses stood still, and we called that a tie. And that's our horse version of the game of horse.